Bob. Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. All right, good work. Come on. So, just had the yellow team out for a little bit of a fly. We've had some pretty wild weather today. We have had um, two returns, which is really good. Still missing quite a few birds, but we'll get into that a little bit later. These guys are doing really well. I've moved over um, one hen that was we weren't gonna race anyway. She's in here. Just getting them loft line, keeping them moving. Um, doing pretty well now, so these guys won't be raced this year. You'll see Little Storm. This is Little Storm here. She's still doing well. We can see she's got the 2019 ring on it. She was bred the same time as 83, so that's um, the same year sister as 83. So um, she's bred a few babies in here this year. A couple of them actually she was paired up to shock so she produced um, one of the hens that come back today which is the ugly hen here she's um, a little bit ugly and she produced this little checker here as well i think she may there may be another one actually yeah this little blue bar cock on the end here too so um pretty good this morning we had that hen I oh, know actually it was this hen and one of her other hens which is down here so both those ones come back today and luckily enough both those ones have got my ten thousand dollar rings on it so we're still on the in the money for that one and um, we may get birds out to that just yet who knows we will wait and see we're still waiting on three birds to come back with those ten thousand dollar rings on it um actually that's her there that's her brother so we'll just have to wait and see how they go um pretty surprised We've got um, three of Shock's babies back, which is really good. So we're only missing one. So we've got this little hen back, this hen back, and that cock bird, like I said. So pretty good. We've got two on the day, which is fantastic. Um, we're still missing two of them, which is a little bit of a shame because they're quite nice. But obviously, oh, there's my little girl. There she is. Come here. You want to? No? You just want to get in the camera. What do you want? I don't even have the results yet to show you. So, little hen's doing pretty well. Oh, she's big cheeky now. She's just gone. She's a, I'll tell you what. Yes, you just can have this now. I'm gonna open it up for you. It's your turn to come out to this section. What, are you waiting for someone? Hey, good girl. Anyways, see how we go. Basically, at this point in time, everything, now where are you going? That's your father, you know that. Oh, maybe she's trying to go back over to her boxes, maybe. Interesting. Let's just shut this for a second and see what she's up to. There's obviously something she wants in here. So we'll soon find out. Come on. You wanna go in there? I've opened the door. Let's see what she's up to. She's a special little hen, this one, so we'll see what she's up to here, really. Oh, I see how it is. Just want to get in this side with the boys and rev them up a bit, do you? Oh, she's having a good old time. No wonder she wants to come back so quick. Look at her. She is out of control, this little hen, I'll tell you. She's a good girl. She definitely comes back. She's been our clock bird for both races. Um, it's going to be interesting. She's off had enough now, I'll see you later. She's like, save me, Kurt. I think she's just trying to make me jealous. All right, come on. I'm going back over to your side now. I don't know what's going on with this hen, I'll tell you. Anyway, we were back on this little line of thought before we got distracted. She's gonna continue being special, what she is. Um, yeah, this is all we got at the moment. We've uh, yeah, hopefully we get a couple more, but this is pretty much our race team. We've got 83 up there. He may not go to another race, depending on the results that come out. If they come out pretty good, I think I might um, 
just sit him out for the rest of the year. I know a lot of people are not going to be happy about that, but um, he's definitely the best performer in this loft at the moment. Second to that hen, she's definitely the second best performing. But I do want to continue to race her a little bit more, um, only because this hen here is actually not related to any of the birds that I'm working on. She's the two that I brought from um, the auction. So I want to just push her a little bit further. Um, nice to get her out to three or 400 and um, see how well she performs because that these type of birds that are not related that perform well i want to cross back into you know the likes of 83 and any other one of the first generation of the birds i'm working on are performing so she'll go a little bit more but um he's doing pretty well so he may at this point have a bit of a sit this season out so we can do some breeding with him i'm pretty keen to put him with the best kittle hen but at the same time, I do have potentially something even far, far better coming, a hen that um, I don't really want to talk about until it actually happens because it might fall through. But um, yeah, it, he would be the ideal candidate for it because he's already proven himself, given that he does well in the race from the results. If they do turn up at some point, I'm still waiting for them. Um, but we'll just wait and see. We do have a brother and uh, actually two full brothers in there and a couple of sisters to race. So not really missing anything if he sits out, but you know, when we get birds of this, you know, guys like this little fella who seems to be doing pretty well, like they definitely standing out far ahead of any other ones. We kind of need to look after them a little bit and just bring them back into the colony. We don't want to lose all these good genetics just because I'm trying to chase wins. I'm not interested in chasing wins at the moment. I just want to see how well my birds perform and they seem to be doing all right we are you know, i would realistically i would want far better returns we've had some pretty heavy losses but i do know where i've gone wrong and i'll make a video about that at some point there's a whole bunch of points that we will work on for the next season we're definitely not out at the moment we've still got plenty of the season left but we just have to be picky we have to pick our races um and I know that I, I mentioned that kind of not so much resting the birds, but we split them into two teams maybe. One week one team races, the next week the other one races, just so we don't put all the birds in one race and we lose them all, then we're out. But if we sort of stagger it a bit, then we've got a bit more of a chance. And that's why I was kind of saying resting, because they get a week off, then they're back in it. Um, but we race every week, if you, anyone understands that, because there's a few people that didn't really understand that clearly. Maybe I didn't explain it clearly, but... Um, I do want to continue on for another month or two of racing, at least get through the full sprint series, which should go out to about 400 or something kilometres, so I want to get at least that far, but I'm debating whether we push 83 that far just yet, because I do have, well I've got the best kittle hen, and I've also got something else coming, but I don't want to talk about it unless it actually happens, so I'm trying to tee it up a bit, but um, I'm glad she's found someone probably a bit more mature than 83 we're trying to pair up but uh, she just seems to be interested in big leo i am considering pairing leo and storm back up again soon we're not far away from the breeding season um, i want to be done really early this year i don't want to be breeding into next year i wanted all the birds done and dusted before christmas well and truly before then so um we've got a bit of work to do we might start pairing up soon um only the birds that I definitely am happy with which is going to be interesting because I last year we just bred as many as we could to try and test them this year I'm not going down that path I'm just going to breed from the very best um, that I think that we have in this loft and then sort of go down that route um, I don't really think we should be trying to breed bulk numbers again I don't want a huge flock anyway we probably will try and aim for about 50 um, but we will approach it a little bit different this year and try and minimize losses before race season and try and we'll do a lot more training next year as well so the birds will be a bit better prepared and uh, big leo's just showing off so um, we'll see how we go i haven't got results yet i'm hoping they do turn up soon um, i did message them hopefully get some today but um, if they do turn up, I will put them in the community tab and I will put a video up at some point. But I'm back to work tomorrow, so we may struggle. So these guys as well while we're here, um, I just want to, for this year, we'll just loft fly them. 
Um, then we might breed from a couple of them this year because there's a couple of nice little hens here that we might put with Big Shock and we might put with the father of this hen as well. Um, and if there is a good hen there too, we might put with the mother of that hen as well. We seem to be doing not too bad. Um, but then these, this, probably these ones next year, we will give them a bit of a race as well. So um, we'll just see how we go. But we just got to make sure we got plenty of pairs to breed from this year. Well, good pairs anyway. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get a few more birds back today. The weather is, uh, yeah, not too great, but we're still getting a few back. I'm going to get this little hen back on her side so she doesn't stare at me cockbirds too much. Because um, they'll be getting ready to get their own boxes soon.